Okay, so did you know that most New Year's resolutions aren't kept? And the biggest reason is you guys aren't making resolutions the right way. So me being the curious person I am, I posted a poll on Instagram to find out who was for or against having New Year's resolutions. I wanted to hear from the people. And before I share those results, let's talk about why you are making your New Year's resolutions the wrong way. All right, so let's start this off with some research and some statistics. There was a study conducted that found that 23% of people quit their resolution after just a week, and only 19% of individuals are actually able to stick to their goals long-term. And there was another study that said the failure rate for New Year's resolutions is said to be about 80%, and most of those people quit their resolutions by mid-February. A lot of y'all's time is near. We at the end of January. <laughs> when I read those numbers, I thought, very interesting. So at this point, you might be asking, why, 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 why? Well, I'm glad you asked. The reasons are you need to stop making resolutions like this. Let's get into it. The first one is stop making broad resolutions that require major changes in your life. In other words, be specific about the thing you want to do and make it something easy, make it something simple, make it something small. For example, let's say you wanna eat healthier. You could make a resolution to say, okay, on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, I'm only gonna eat salad, fruits, and vegetables or something like that. I don't know, throw fish in there. Fish is healthy, right? Right? I love fish. I know one of the things that I wanted to do this year is I wanted to create more content. So instead of just saying, I'm going to create a bunch of content, I commit it to every single week dropping a new video. And if I can, I'll drop two. The point is you're keeping it simple and basically you're trying to create a new habit. I've read that it takes between a month and two months to create a new habit, so. There you go. The second thing, which actually annoys me, stop making New Year's resolutions without having a plan. If you make resolutions, cool. But if you make one without having a plan to execute, you're kind of wasting your time. Let's say you want to get out of debt this year. You have to have a budget, right? You have to know what money is coming in, what money is coming out, how much money you can put towards your debt to even see if it's a realistic possibility to pay things off. If you want to lose weight, Where's your workout plan, your dietary plan? Look, and there's no hate to the people who do this. You can have your vision board, you can have your affirmations, but if you don't put any work behind the things that you're saying and the things that you want, it doesn't matter. It's not gonna work. And another part of this is even planning to fail because look, you're going to fail. Check this out, I got some more numbers for you. There was another study that showed that people who are successful at sticking to their long-term resolutions tend to slip up at least 14 times. A whopping 71% of individuals said that their mistakes actually strengthened their desire to reach their goals. Hey man, it's okay to fail. All right, the third thing is stop making New Year's resolutions when you know you're not ready to change. Well, look, I'm gonna be honest with you. You need to be honest with yourself. I'm honest with myself all the time. There's no way, there's no way that I'm ever giving up Chick-fil-A nuggets. You know why? Because I love them. So it's, it's not part of my plan. I'm honest with myself. My New Year's resolution would never include not eating at Chick-fil-A. Now, maybe I can eat at Chick-fil-A a little less, but the point is just be realistic about the things you know you're not going to do or the things that you want to do. Don't just make resolutions because you want to have something to say. And the fourth and final thing is stop waiting until January 1st in order to execute your plan. Check this out. We all have jobs, right? And on your job, you probably have a performance review, right? We have them quarterly and we have them annually. A New Year's resolution is just that. It's the goals that you set based off a self-assessment of yourself. And look, I understand why some people think that New Year's resolutions are corny, right? Because they're self-assessing their self throughout the entire year. I do the same thing. But I actually think New Year's resolutions are good because having a set time to just look over the entire year and to see the things that you can improve on, things that you can change to set new goals, I think that's cool. I do it throughout the year, but just having that set time is it's a good thing to have. I'm gonna be honest with you. I talk to people about content creation all the time. And the one thing that I hear a lot that I know hurts people the most is when they're like, yeah, I'm gonna start, but like, give me like four months. They never start at all. Going back to my example of wanting to create more content this year, I didn't wait until January 1st to start. I actually started in October. I'm gonna continue the goal throughout this year, but I didn't wait for January 1st. If you self-assess and you see something that needs to be corrected, something that needs to be improved, why would you wait? Start now, start today. So here are the poll results that I got on Instagram. And as you can see, 
most people aren't into making New Year's resolutions. And that's cool, no judgment, you know what I'm saying? Y'all still my peoples. But I also would say, I don't think most people stop to assess themselves. I don't think most people stop to look at the things they need to change. I think most people aren't intentional about their lives and most people just kind of float through life. You have the right to do what you want to do. And I'm not necessarily saying that the people who answer the poll are like that, but I'm just saying in general. But I honestly think you shouldn't look at New Year's resolutions as just something to say because it's the cliche thing to do. I think you should take it seriously. I think you should really look at yourself, make these goals, make a plan for those goals and execute them as you move forward. It's okay to hold yourself accountable. It's okay to have that pressure on you. And I believe you actually should say your New Year's resolutions publicly. That way you'll be more likely to do them. I mean, that's just me. And when I say publicly, I don't mean necessarily on social media but tell some close friends hey man i want to start my business this year so if you made it this far thank you i appreciate you check out one of these videos next and i'll see you in the next video it's your boy k so peace